What if I was always told that my body and soul were in harmony? What if I was told to respect that vessel for carrying me through the world and my vessel was worthy of that respect at a size 28 and a size 12? What if you just had a bajillion dollars? What if you just had like the Super Saiyan transformation? Like you can scream for 45 minutes, your hair would turn, turn blonde and you would just have no eyebrows. Like what if you could just do that? What if you could just have anything that you wanted at any time ever in life? I don't know why these are even claims. What if this and then having this just be an unrealistic thing? What if somebody told me that, that my mind and body were in unique harmony? Like what are you talking about? What? Why would you even, I don't understand why these people have to go so far to try to justify their existence. Just keep it a buck. I don't know why you would expect anybody to say some bullshit like that. Hey, guess what? Being fat, completely fine is no problem. By the way, I know you're like nine years old and this can like totally affect you later on in your life. I mean, no matter what I say is going to negatively affect you. But at least if I tell you the truth about the weight, which is that having extra weight on your body is not good. It is literally a defect, but... If I'm going to tell you the opposite, maybe you go through your life and then you probably die earlier because you think there's nothing wrong with being, I mean, to be honest, like the end result is probably the same. You, somebody told you that the weight is not good for you and you did nothing about it. You're fat. And then if somebody tells you the weight is good for you, you're still fat. So either way, it's not a good thing. What if instead of seeing magazines question why a nobody, nobody's reading magazines. Why are you saying magazines? How old are you? Nobody, nobody has seen a magazine since 2011. Those don't exist anymore, okay? Everybody does stuff online. Don't say magazines. That's crazy. It's like somebody going like, oh, yeah, I was reading the, the newspaper the other day. What is that? Who, what is a newspaper? You know what kids do nowadays? If you bring them like a Game Boy. You remember Game Boys? I had one growing up, okay? You give them a Game Boy, they touch the screen because they don't know that the Game Boy is not something you have to touch the screen. It's buttons, right? What are buttons? I don't know. Buttons, don't, buttons are just like obsolete at this point. The same thing could be said for magazines you're dating your <laughs> it's it's just like i don't know if these people are caught in the year like 2007 where they think stuff like this happens anymore nobody gives a fuck that you're fat okay and like the downward side effects of you being big which are like not being able to walk upstairs or having a strong inkling of your kneecaps just like shaking anytime you get up off of the chair those things are all relevant to you strictly no in society you can't blame that stairs exist you can't blame that sometimes the elevator doesn't work or clothes don't fit you optimally like these things are just like obvious things that are going to happen regardless okay so when you sit there and go magazines you're, what you're basically saying is you have to reach very very far to try to find a reason why the world hates you which is not true. Nobody hates you. You're fine. Instead of seeing magazines question why a postpartum celeb would dare step foot in public without removing the evidence that their body once carried life, I saw magazines celebrate the wonder that is childbirth and the marks bodies are left with in remembrance of this feat. I think there's a difference between having stretch marks when you had a child compared to having stretch marks when you were very, very fat. Now, granted, I get it. Like, if you have stretch marks because you're fat, it is what it is. There's not much you could do about it. I have a friend who's also very, very big of a guy, and he looks like a zebra when he takes off his shirt. That sucks. It does suck. But at least you can alleviate these particular types of illnesses. Like, you'll always have that stuff, probably. I don't know if there's, like, some cream that you can rub upon your skin that would, like, dissipate those particular zebra stripes. I don't know, personally. I have no idea about that. But it's okay. The point I'm making is, like, if you do have these stretch marks, it's okay. At least you can learn from them. At least you can grow from them. At least you can like look upon these things as like a, I ascended beyond this. But to try to compare like women that give birth <laughs> and because they have, you know, it, their growth of the baby, the organism, right? The egg sac growth within their whatever uterine lining is growing. Therefore, the stretch marks occur. I don't think that's anywhere close to a person getting stretch marks because they're, they, they got fat. Those two things are like completely different. You know what I'm talking about? Those two things are very, very, very different. And to compare the two is crazy. What if we saw people of all sizes on our screens in film, TV, music, and dance? Listen, okay? I understand. People of all sizes, it's, it's an uncanny thing to have people of all sizes participate in things that are just completely out of the realm of possibilities, right? Am I wrong in saying that? You want fat people? Okay, you want them in film and dance? That's weird, but sure. H how fat? How fat do we go? Because you know that once a person becomes too big, 
regular stuff just becomes like not normalized you can't do it anymore it's not that it's not that we don't want to see it just not possible like when somebody is very very big when somebody is big as hell 400 500 pounds what the fuck do you mean i want to see them dance i don't even think they can see themselves dance in their minds that shit is an odd that's never gonna happen what are they gonna do just spin around in circles in a fucking one of those scooter chairs that you can get at walmart nobody's doing that shit that's unrealistic and i understand that you want representation because you want to be included and you want people to see the inclusiveness of whatever the fuck you want to be seen but sometimes it's just unrealistic there sometimes it just doesn't make any fucking sense like how far do we have to go to justify your guys's existence if it doesn't make sense that shit is literally unrealistic. Then no, this is not gonna work. As success and talent exist at every weight. That's true, but you're ignoring the fact that some talent is going to be completely overshadowed by the the weight of a person. You understand? Like I don't give a fuck if you're the best dancer on the planet. You're 500 pounds. You ain't you can't even walk. What do you mean? You where's the dancing? How you gonna dance if you can't even stand? That's an odd bro. What? Okay, but yeah, sure. People are talented at any size, but I think your talent is going to be, you're basically destroying your talent. If you have a dancing talent and you can dance very well, but you gain 200 pounds, what the fuck am I supposed to do about that? We need to put you on stage. Even though you can't dance anymore, we need this woman on stage. She can dance one time in her life, so therefore, put her on the stage. That's, what, what are you talking about, man? No. And what if the conversations in workplaces didn't revolve around eating too much over the holidays or you want to avoid Jenny's death today? She has cakes and I can't indulge. I'm saving my sins. <laughs> what if we just didn't talk about diets or weight loss at all? What are you talking about? Like, you do realize that diet and exercise are super, super important for, like, everyday life. You understand that? It's – I understand. I do. I really, really get it. I do. But this is fucking dumb. This is stupid. The what if scenarios are completely unrealistic. They make absolutely no sense. They're not centered in reality at all. And to believe any of this shit, what if we uh, never talked about diet or weight loss at all is dumb because sometimes you actually need to talk about those things in the spectrum of health or aesthetics. What if you just want to have big, bulging, bubbled up muscles? Is that something wrong to be a muscle mommy or a muscle daddy? No, it's completely fine to be beautifully and muscled up. If you want to do that, that's completely fine. In the same way of losing weight for your health, going to a doctor and the doctor tells you, hey, being fat, not so good. You should probably lose some weight. It's not the best. So in those particular scenarios, you're just saying we shouldn't have those things. Like talking about it in the, in the spectrum of health, get rid of it. Talking about it in the spectrum of looking gooder, Get rid of it. All that stuff is irrelevant. Stop talking about weight because, I don't know, because it's negative. Somebody would feel bad about it. Get the fuck off me, bro. You're a fucking grown woman, dude. Get over it. You know what you can do and you know what other people can do. How are you going to tell me that you believe that people should have full bodily autonomy while saying, like, what if we just stop talking about this shit? Then, then nothing would get done ever. We would just have, like, a whole community of people that were just perpetually overweight that, like, crawling around on the fucking floor and when they crawl around the floor behind them would be like a giant snail trail of like chocolate milk and oreos it's not it's not practical what if my body wasn't a problem that needed to be solved I, yeah, bro you, you shut the fuck up bro this is fun this you, you're saying some shit right now bro this, you, this is this is un this is not real you can't be saying this shit dude what if your body wasn't a problem to be solved huh Okay, yeah, I guess. That's like somebody saying, like, what if my cancer wasn't a problem? Yeah, I would like that. I would really like that. That's, you know, I really would like it if things were better in certain directions. Yes, I'm, nobody's disagreeing with you. Like, when people say things like, what if people made more money? What if people had better health care? What if people had this? What if people had that? I'm not disagreeing with you. That's good. I think that those things could be achieved maybe in the future, but that's not how reality is, and that's also not how, like, we participate in society so when you say what if what if what if what if i don't know like what am i supposed to do with that like yeah I, I agree i think it's yeah if you were fat and you were healthy that'd be yeah that'd be cool but that's not how it is so what's the point and like what are you even trying to say right now like you know what does this even gotta do you know what what, what is your point what is, where is this going exactly what if we were just allowed to exist in peace Come with me to the first ever fat con. Yes, that's right, haters. There is a convention just Why for- Why are you dressing like that, dude? Come with me to the first ever fat- When people dress like this, right, and they go out in public, do they get upset? 
when people look at them because I got to keep it a buck. I got to keep it a solid buck. This, this particular outfit is like a rejected outfit that you would see in like Alice in the Wonderland. You know what I'm talking about, dude? This is, uh, this is some crazy shit. This is some crazy fucking outfit right now. I hope that's not her real hair, dude. I hope that's like a wig or something like that. I think these, uh, what are these, some like Air Forces or something like that? Some workout shoes. I like those. But, uh, I mean, listen, you could wear whatever the fuck you want to wear, but you can't be, you can't expect to be free of judgment, dude. This is some, <laughs> some crazy ass outfit, bro. And there's nobody else on the street, thank God. Anyway, let's hear about the fat con. Fat con. Yes, that's right, haters. There is a convention just for us fats now. There were so many amazing panels, ranging from Fat Liberation 101 to Fat Lesk to Fat Nerds. I even talked on a panel Oof, with the Damn, dude. Why are you sitting on the table like that? Just like bending the tables, just like bending like this? This has got to be a depressing-ass meeting, right? Can you imagine being the person that has to set up that, that, that press conference or whatever and talking to the person that owns the building? Like, listen, we want to put together a seminar. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. We're going to have a whole bunch of people in here. So, but the way we're going to have, like, we're going to need a lot of room and this and that. Oh, you must be having thousands of people. Like, it's going to be crazy, right? No, I mean, it's really going to be like maybe 60 people, 60 people, but you need like rooms and you're going to have like all these chairs and things like that. Big chairs and things. Wow. 60 people. Yeah. But you know, they're kind of, di- they're big people, big, big, giant people, ginormous people, people that are big, we have to have them sit on the tables because chairs aren't going to fit them. So they have to sit on the tables itself. Anyway, man, whatever, dude, whatever. Um, I just want to know why, you know? I just want to know. And I also want to know how many people in this room have Crocs. Bus on 101 ways to lose the weight of fat hate. That's, shut the fuck, shut the fuck up, dude. What are you talking about right now, man? 101 ways to lose the weight of fat hate hate who in who made that who did that that is craziness dude the lyrical genius of that individual is unparalleled that is crazy you got you got fat women up on stage walking in front of doors that's oh man dude Woo! talked on a panel with the plus bus on 101 ways to lose the weight of Ooh, fat hate the plus there bus was an amazing plus size fashion show featuring multiple designers what this dude get the why this is depressing bro god damn god damn we're watching some serious we're watching some serious fucking body abuse right now a whole bunch of people walking on stage don't give a fuck about themselves hey you could do whatever you want honestly speaking i'm a big fan of people dressing up as like you want to go to a brony con you want to go to a place where a whole bunch of dudes i don't know if guys really do have sex with the plushies i know some guys that do though i've seen some videos of guys having sex with plushies which is fine i probably had sex with a plushie at one point in my life which i'm not ashamed of by the way i think it's just something that happens and if you're sitting there trying to judge me because i had sex with a plushie listen it wasn't even like a cool plushie i don't know what it was it was probably like a beanie baby or something like that i don't fucking know but the point i'm making is if you want to go to these conferences and things like that, I think you should. I think they should have the ability to have these particular type of conferences. But you can't expect me to look upon this shit with the light in my eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'm going to be judging this shit. This shit is, this shit is ab- abnormal. This is not natural. Not natural at all. This woman is wearing some cow outfit. What is this? And she got like two, two, three inch high platforms, dude. I mean, go ahead, celebrate it. Cele- oh, sl- hashtag slay queen. Hashtag edges. Hashtag living your best life. Hashtag fat girl summer. Do it. Once chub rub. I came out to vend and help with the plus bus with a few pieces that I carry in their store. That's crazy, dude. Is this just like, man, you got this on the second floor? I will be concerned, dude. They had an incredible vendor's hall with all fat artists. Oh, what is, why does everybody look so fucking weird? What are you wearing right now? Why are you wearing these outfits? Like everybody nowadays already organically wears very wears very weird outfits. Like I don't know if you've noticed this. People dress very weird today, which is fine, I guess. Like I don't really care what people wear. You can go ahead, but I'm a very judgmental person. But th- what are you doing? Like why are you wearing like a tutu outfit? Where'd you even get this? Why is this? I don't know, man. You wouldn't catch me wearing some bait, some shit like this, dude. Designers, plus size vintage. Here's some of my art. What the fuck are we doing? There's hall with all fat artists, designers, plus size vintage. Plus size vintage? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty cool. Uh, can I like, are these magnets? 
Does that say thick? Does that say thick right there? T-H-I-C-K? Thick? Okay. Sure. Fat slut? <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Does that say fat slut? Damn, dude. Eat it? Yo. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. I'm a fat slut. My art. And here is the amazing Chub Rub clothing. Chub Rub, dude. What do we... like? I feel like this is just... Dude, fat hottie? Big belly babe? What the fuck are we doing? Big belly babes? Damn, dude. That's that BBB. Big belly babes. Big busty belly babes. Yeah, just add in a busty in there. BBBB, dude. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's just say it like that. Fat hottie, dude. That's crazy. The big belly, the big belly babes. That's that's also. I feel like that should be a band. Big belly babes, right? Hey, bro, you listen to that BBB? No, you don't. Why not, bro? That's a great band. Big Busty Babes. So cute. It was wonderful to connect with fans and new friends. Why does she look so... Is she wearing socks? Why does she look Clothes so depressed? Me. So cute. It was wonderful to... Damn, dude. Why does she look so bad? To connect with fans and new friends. Thank you so much for supporting my work. Oh, man, dude. You got to chill back, dude. You got to chill back. There was so much fat entertainment to be had. Look at this. Crafts. Cute little wall weaver. You guys are adults. What you mean crafts? This is something like this is like a buying point for your toddler. Like, we're going to go to this event. No, it's going to be great. Trust me. They got crafts. They got art. They got they got paper mache. They got all this stuff. Like, what, what are we doing right now? Putting posters on a wall? My body is mine okay the fuck was it all right that's like somebody saying like i drink water okay yeah i agree the fuck my body is majestic af yo <laughs> what are we doing like how old are you guys man my body is queer and cunty what the fuck are we doing dude what my body is boss okay my body is kapash kapush i don't know what that word is don't come at me dude i thought at first when i first read it i thought it said uh, cat, cat catapes, you know those like really big rats. Those are cool people. My body is hot. My body is R N D N A. I don't know what that means. My body is everything, bro. This is depressing. This is my body is heaven. My my body is just fine. Fuck flattering. My body is <laughs> my body is ludicrous. My body is like, what is going on? My body is not yours. Why are we, why are we doing this? My body is magical. Where are we? My body is ample. That one's probably okay. That one's, yeah, that one makes a lot of sense. My body is lusty. <laughs> Yo, what are we saying? My body is resilient. I don't know what you mean by resilient. It definitely has to put up with a lot. That's a fact. But my favorite one, let me know what your guys down here, down below. Let me know. My body is fucking fire. That's hilarious, dude. It's just that my body's a fire extinguisher. Mine is probably the the cunt, the queer, the queer and cunt. That one's probably my favorite. Because like here in America, when somebody says cunt, nobody like nobody says it. Nobody says cunt here in America. It's not even like a word. Like if somebody was like, you're a fucking cunt, people are like, what? Okay. I don't. Like it doesn't really register as an insult. It's more so like an oddity in speech here. So, but I know that if you say in like the UK or Australia and you like, you fucking cunt, right? And then people are like, oh my God. Like, it's like a really big, really big, like pejorative over there. And I wish we had something like that over here. Cause like, we really don't have one of those over here, like a neutral term descriptive for somebody to call them, right? We don't ha really have that. You can call somebody a bitch, but like half of the population just takes that word as like, you right, mm -hmm, period, slay, I am that bitch. And he's like, no, that's not what I mean. Like you're a fucking, b you know, you can't say that because a lot of people just don't even take it as an insult. But this is probably right here. This is the most depressing thing I've seen today. Together, we got a few grief cat performances that were very funny. Here's a little fit check. I brought a look. The shoes are the only thing I like. The shoes actually don't even look bad. I think the shoes are probably the best. Every day to the con, Bro. new friend. <laughs> we had fat pool parties. Here's a little look I will be releasing uh, for Valentine's Day. Oh, we did get up to shenanigans. Oh, <laughs> I... oh, damn! Oh my God! This woman posed with a cake. What are I we will doing? Be releasing uh, for Valentine's Day. We did get up. To... Oh damn! Damn, bro. She's sitting there with a cake. 
Oh, damn, this cake on the floor. That means multiple people did this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why are we doing this? What are we doing right now? Where are we coming to society where this is even appropriate? You're, you're a fat lady sitting down like you're Rose from Titanic body washing a cake while somebody takes pictures of you? To shenanigans. <laughs> oh, my God. Next year's fat con. Wait, oh man, dude! I thought it was way less than that. You just got fat women laid out eating cake. That's crazy. Ads are going absolutely no. Wait for next year's fat con. Oh man! The way diet ads are going absolutely bananas right now Damn. is just like, like, girl. I had to pull over because I just felt the need to talk about this. I was starting a pod. I thought she was gonna say like I had to pull over to take a breath. Like, can you imagine somebody saying that? Like, damn, I had to pull over just to really regain my breath. What are you talking about? You're driving. I mean, I know she didn't say that, but I feel like she should have. Pull over because I just felt the need to talk about this. I was starting a podcast. and Everybody's it got a fucking podcast. I'm sick of this shit, dude. I'm sick of everybody having a podcast nowadays. And nobody has anything to talk about. Most of these podcasts are complete fucking bullshit, right? How many? How do you have this many friends to talk about literally nothing with? And I, I never understand it, dude. And like when I ask, can I get on your podcast? You know, like can we talk about you? They never invite me. And I, I'm, I'm thinking like I don't think I'm like that. I I feel like I could probably carry the entire podcast just myself. You know, the amount of times that these people are just there and there's like literally 30 seconds of dry nothing going on, like no talking at all. And just watching like what the fuck am I doing here right now? If I can talk about something, at least something, dude. Nothing? All right, anyway. And it starts with an ad. It's like, blah, blah. And I hear wait less. And I'm like, mm, and I start fast forwarding. And the next thing I hear is just part of it. And this girl says, I just, I'm excited to step on the scale now. Like, what? What's wrong with that? I've never in any situation heard anybody say I'm excited to step on the scale. I absolutely don't think that is a healthy mindset to have. Why is it not a healthy mindset? What are you talking about? Somebody stepping on the scale is not good? Is that like a, is that an L? What are we talking about? Wait, what? Can I go back? What am I? I'm lost right now. Hold on, bro. Because like, I thought she said stepping on the scale was like not a healthy mindset. Does she not think there's any reason that somebody could step on the scale and feel happy? <laughs> what the fuck? What? What if you like lost weight? What if you were like, oh yeah. Or even if you gained weight. Like I sometimes... If I'm really working out like heavily, dude, and I'm seeing some results, I'm stepping on the scale. I'm like, I gained an extra two, three pounds, bro. I feel fucking good. I feel juiced up. I feel fucking ready, you know? But this woman, like, she, she can't find a reason why. Fast forwarding. And the next thing I hear is just part of it. And this girl says, I just, I'm excited to step on the scale now. Like, what? I've never in any situation heard anybody say I'm excited to step on the scale. I absolutely don't think that is a healthy mindset to have. Period. You got bad friends. If you've never had, you've never in your life, you've never in your life ever in your time of being alive, you've never heard somebody say, I'm going to step on the scale and I feel happy. You've never had that happen to you ever. You've never heard that in a good mindset. Like it's always been bad. What do you <laughs> Dude, Damn, bro. You just telling on yourself right now. And you think that's an unhealthy mindset to have. You think that is an unhealthy? What about your, uh, excuse me, my bad. I think that maybe I'm the one here that's got the mental deficiency. I might be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down below. Stepping on a scale, not good. Good. Do you plan on stepping on the scale? Do you feel good sometimes when you step on the scale? Let me know down below. Because I was always under the assumption that it could be a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe you fucked up and you step on the scale and you're resenting it. Maybe you don't want to. That's okay. But I know there's a lot of people that step on the scale and go, yes, this is fucking great. I know I lost weight. I know I did the right thing. But I guess this woman's just like, nah, never, never good. Never, never, ever, not even once has it ever been good. You're a bad, you're disgusting. You're terrible and horrible simultaneously for wanting to think of stepping on the scale in a good way. Ugh, you're gross. Nasty. I just step on the scale. I absolutely don't think that is a healthy mindset to have, period, about yeah. a scale. Like, if anything, weight should be, like, a neutral thing. Like, it baffles me. Yeah, but, like, that's the way you think about it. I'm sorry that people don't believe in the bullshit way you think about weight where it doesn't have a fucking value. And, by the way, nobody thinks like that about anything in life ever 
Do you, do you think of money like that? Like if you went to a, a, a store and your total came up to be like $200 and you were like, oh, here you go. And you gave him a dollar. You're like, oh, money should just be neutral. Money should just be a neutral thing. What are you fucking dumb? No. Everything has a value. Everything is valuable and less valuable. And you, sure, society is the one that like determines that thing. But to sit there and say, weight doesn't have a value. It's a neutral thing. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's the way you want to think about it. Nobody else does, though. And the fact that you have to like project that upon other people and call them bad. And they have a bad mindset. I guess. I mean, if that's what you want to fucking say, but it's obviously dumb. It just blows my mind the way that this stuff is just like... Now fucking brush your hair. Brush your fucking hair, dude. Don't come on here telling me that I want to step on a scale in a good way and you think that I'm a bad person when your hair is unbrushed, okay, dude? I, you got a fucking a Willy Wonka candy cane on your head. What am I? You, you got a problem with me? You got a problem with me stepping on a scale in a good way, dude? How are we going to sit there and judge me like that, huh? And everybody else. That's crazy. That's craziness. A bit now and just coming back, so... I'm just trying to hang in there like, it's okay to exist as you are, goodness. I feel like these people need to take a step back from social media. I think they gotta really think about what they're saying sometimes because this has gotta be one of the most crazy statements I've ever heard in my fucking life. To sit there, you could say in the general speaking sense of like, I think personally, in my opinion, in my opinion, that step way should be neutral, that's fine. But to sit there and say like, there's no, it's not a healthy mindset, to look at weight loss or like look at the scale and think it's a good thing like and n never never not even any other scenario if you like weighing food no can't do that are scales just like obsolete never looking at them is like a wow damn i didn't know that i didn't know that i'm a bad person then i guess i guess i'm an unhealthy mindseted person i guess you're an unhealthy mindset person too. You with me. You're with me. Don't act like you don't do that too. You're with me. We're both unhealthy mindseted people together, but at least we're together. At the foot doctor, and I can hear the doctor next to me, next to the curtain over talking to this woman about her BMI, telling her the higher the BMI, the shorter your life will be. Keep in mind, uh, according to this post, this is coming from somebody who is at the foot doctor due to diabetes ulcers. Also, She's under five feet tall, which is crazy. I don't know who the fuck, how, how you even get under five feet tall, but I'm not here to discriminate against anybody. I, hashtag short queens. Hashtag love short queens, right? Also, if you hashtag love short kings, right? That's what they say nowadays. I think it's pretty disrespectful, though, to be like, oh, yeah. You know, I was listening to that Kanye song. Take me to New York. I like to see L.A., right? <clears throat> and uh, when, when, like, I think it was, like, Missy Elliott, or I don't know who the fuck was singing the song, but anyway. She said in the song, she was like, I just met this five foot guy, five foot seven guy, and whatever the fuck she was saying. And I was like, damn, that's so disrespectful to call out Kanye's height like that, you know, to say that he's like five foot seven. But if you want to look on Wikipedia, it says that he's like five foot eight. I guess that inch really does. Inches definitely matter wherever you can get them, 100%. Um, that's a fact. That's a fact. But most guys are going to lie about their height. They're going to tell you that they're like one or two inches taller than whatever. And that doesn't just go for the height. That goes for any type of measurement that a guy can put on himself. So that goes for foot size. That goes for penis meat size, whatever, dude. Most guys are going to lie. They're going to say like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm nine inches. I'm 10 inches. But it's not like you're going to know. You know, it's not like you're going to like pull out the measurement. Like, oh, let me just make sure that that's, uh, hmm, yep, that seems optimal. You know, most women are not going to do that. So, you know, what are you going to do? I'm lying. <laughs> so what? I mean, I've never lied. But, uh, yeah, apparently she's got diabetes or whatever. So anyway, um, the, the higher the BMI, the shorter the life will be, which is pretty accurate, 100%. I mean, the bigger you are, the harder you fall. That's a factual statement. I wanted to yell, bullshit. And throw, throw something. What do you mean throw something, dude? You're a grown woman, right? You're a grown woman. You shouldn't have the urges to throw things as a grown woman. It's like when people go like, oh, man, I just, I wish this guy would show up and I would just fight him. I would just beat him up. And I always think like, what? What are you, like when people, I'm talking to people over the internet and people go, I could beat the fuck out of you, bro. I would literally beat your ass, dude. And I would have you bleeding and you'd be on the floor. And I'd be, I'm always thinking like, dude, what is wrong with you? You know, like I, all I said was that you, all I said was you wearing your hair like a beanie. You know, why are you so upset? Why? Why would you? And by the way, if you're threatening somebody physical violence over the Internet, 
that's that's really cringy. That's super cringy. That's almost as cringy as people are flexing money or flexing a gun, you know, like that type of stuff. Like that's really cringy. But to start to threaten somebody over the internet, physical harm by telling them that you could beat them up, bro. What do you like, fucking? What do you like, fourteen, dude? Come on, get 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 over that shit, bro. Nobody handles, nobody fights anymore. And if you are fighting, you're doing something wrong, okay? And hopefully, if you're fighting somebody, it's it's under the prospect of self-defense, you know? Like, that should be, like, the last resort. I'm not fighting people. You know, if I'm out in public and somebody wants to fight me, guess what I'm doing? I have legs. I'm going to run. And I know a lot of people might think, David, you're a pussy. No, I just don't want to die. I don't want to kill someone, and I don't want to die. So, therefore, I'm going to leave the whatever altercation that is in the fastest and the best way I possibly can. My cardio is on point. I know that I could probably beat most people in cardio, so I'm not going to, like, risk my life if I know I could do that, you know? And then also, you don't know if I, you don't know what I got on me. You know, I'm not playing fair. That's just what it is. I am not playing fair. And I know multiple, multiple black guys that tell me that all the time. They tell me that if they get into a fight, they're pulling out guns, and they're going to shoot somebody. And that's just what it is. Nobody plays fair when you're fighting somebody on the street. What are you talking about, dude? This is like the Wild West. Nobody's doing that shit, dude. Like, oh, yeah, we're going to have the fair arrangement like you're Andrew Jackson challenging somebody to a duel. You're not doing that shit? Dude, no, man. You're not fucking doing that. Anyway, but this is true. BMI is definitely, the higher it is, the the, the worse your life is going to be. Uh, I wanted to yell bullshit and throw something because BMI is an archaic way of measuring health. I actually just saw a clip last night on TikTok, obviously. Yeah, definitely no more than a doctor because you saw a clip on TikTok. Good job so far. Last night, I saw, okay, uh, last night on TikTok where uh, Dr. Braley, I don't know who Dr. Braley is, but maybe somebody can tell me who that is in the comment section, goes on a rant against it. The power of Shonda Rhimes, okay? The power of Shonda Rhimes is just multiple. Is this like uh, the guy from The Walking Dead's wife? compels you to shut the fuck up but you ain't say shit in the moment <laughs> you ain't say shit in the moment dude why are you talking now why are you talking now why don't you go up to that doctor throw some shit around and go that's some fucking bullshit i don't care that you did have eight years in medical school i don't care that you do have expertise and you did research and you're supposed to tell people the right information i told i watched the tiktok and tiktok told me that bmi is not real you're a liar Anyway, yeah, so I got diabetes all over my leg right now. Don't worry about how I'm fat as shit. Uh, anyway, yeah, I need you to go ahead and look at my foot. That shit's kind of big as hell right now. I got diabetes all over my foot right now. Can you help me out with that? But you're wrong, by the way. Anyway, is that that's probably where you should have went with that. You didn't say shit at the moment. Anyway. As a super fat, infinifat, smaller fats and thin people can support me by stop being body positive, but but dieting just enough so they stay small fat and don't look like me. So you just want people to just say, like, fuck it and just eat whatever the fuck they want? But, like, why? I mean, I'm not supporting. Wait, first of all, dude, if you're classifying yourself as a super fat slash infinifat, that's crazy. That's all. That, I don't know how you cannot see that as disrespect. If somebody called me an infinifat, that is so ungodly levels of disrespectful, dude. I can't even believe that. Did you have a problem with people calling you obese? But you don't have a problem with people calling you infinifat? That shit don't even sound real. That shit sounds like a super, like a villain in like a Marvel movie, dude. That doesn't sound like a real thing. But man, go off, queen. 100%. Yeah, just so like if you want to support this person, eat everything, okay? Forget about your health. Forget about it. You don't need that shit. Yeah. Stop. You're supporting this woman, all right? Forget about your health. It's not about you anymore. Fuck you. It's not about you, all right? This person. It's all about this person, okay? As a super fat, infinifat, smaller fats, and thin people can support me by stop stopping patronizing places. Is that patronizing? Patronizing. Yes, patronizing. Stop patronizing, patronizing places that are not accessible for me even when I'm not. So what do you, so like you want me to just like look at stairs and be like, this is fucking ridiculous. This is, I fucking hate this shit. Fat people need to have access to this. I don't think stairs should exist. Is that what, it, maybe I'm dumb. Sometimes I misread things, and maybe, is this not the word that I'm thinking of it is? Okay, I, I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure what this means is like, you need to not use things that she can't use. So, if you uh, can walk upstairs, 
Forget about it. Don't do that. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that you would even think about doing that. If there are stairs, don't walk up them. You need to walk around somehow, somewhere. I don't know, teleport somewhere. I don't know what the fuck you're going to do. Can you fly? Do that too. Whatever you want, as long as you don't use stairs, don't get up out of a seated position at all. Forget about that shit. You know what? Just stay home all day. Lay in the bed. Gorge. I don't know how you're going to get the food. Just have like a permanent delivery driver just come to your door. Forget about the door, by the way. Just unhook that shit from the hinges. You don't need that no more. That dude's going to come on there. He's going to be on permanent retainer. You don't even need to call him up. He's already there. As a super fat slash infinite fat, smaller fats and thin people can support me by not centering Bopo? B uh, Bopo around their little, what is Bopo? Body positivity around their little lovely little love hands? What the fuck is Bopo? Bopo. I'm like, I'm gonna have to Google it, I guess. I don't fucking know. It is body positivity. I don't know, like, if you. You know, you, you, you say a lot of things, you know, I don't know why you wouldn't just say be, you know, body positivity. Anyway, whatever, dude. Yeah, not centering body positivity around the little love hands. I don't even know. Uh, love handles. Oh, yeah, okay. Love handles. All right. So if you're fat in ways that you don't like and you claim body positivity, chill back. You're not, you're not about it. You're not really a part of that organization. Stop. You're not actually about it. You got to be big as fuck. You got to be massive. You got to be like a megalodon in human form. But big and busky and smell like orange juice that's been left out in the sun way too long. You need to be too big. That's what you need to be. When you see this, right? When you see super fat and thin and fat, after that should be way too big. That should be another classification. That sounds way better than infinite fat, to be honest. Infinite fat is craziness. Like thinking about it, putting it into the spectrum of like actual understanding. To sit there and call yourself an infinite fat is literally saying. You are so fat that metrics that we can traditionally use, such as poundages or, or whatever else you use, no longer are eligible because the weight is too, it's infinite. <laughs> Your weight is beyond the point of measurability. That is insane. Like Superman himself would struggle to pick you up because you are too big. That is crazy to me, dude. And you think this is okay? I would much rather be called obese than infinifat. Pet owners, how do you deal with being anti-diet and body positive in humans and watching your pet's weight, measuring their calories, and not giving them food when they want? I just, I was just eating a donut while explaining to my dog, what do you mean you were explaining to your dog? That while there was nothing in it that would necessarily hurt her, it was also, it also wasn't healthy for her, I realized that I felt hip, first of all, dude, I don't even know why you're having a conversation with your dog at all. You guys remember those old ads on weed and it would be like a, a guy smoking weed. He would just deflate and his, like sometimes he would smoke weed and his dog would talk to him. And that shit really fucked me up because I remember growing up and I saw those commercials and I was like, so this is what happens, huh? This is what you do. Like you smoke weed and you just become like Wiley Coyote when he hits the fucking wall going too fast or your dog talks to you. Like what kind of weed, first of all, are you smoking that your dog is just going to talk to you and feel disappointed about that? But regardless, dude, you're talking to your dog, which is already a red flag. I feel like personally speaking, I don't know. Like, I've had a cat and I've talked to that dude before in the sense of like, you know, oh man, you, you're a pretty cat. You're, you're, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful and things like that in a cute way. Oh, that's a, you know, you look real good today. That's all, oh, but your fur is so, you know, things like that. But I'm not over here explaining the, the, the calories in calories out to a fucking cat. Like when it's a one, that's, I might as well just talk to a rock at that point or the floorboards or something like that. What is the cat going to do? They're not going to reciprocate. All right. All right. Anyway, that should already be step number one. We should already be talking about that. I don't know why. If I'm reading these comments, which I have not read yet, and nobody's going to talk about the fact that this person is literally talking about explaining something to their dog. Okay. That should not. I don't know. And then also, by the way, certain animals can eat certain things. Like, for instance, you know that dogs are not supposed to eat chocolate, right? You know that. So, like, does that also not work for the diet industry or the, the, the anti-diet, whatever? Like, what are you talking about, dude? First and, fucking, first and fucking foremost. And then also, animals don't know when to stop. You know what I'm talking about? Like, most of the time. That's why you see a lot of obese pets. Because owners don't give a fuck about them. And they just kind of put out the food. And they, there's a lot of it. And dogs and cats will just eat whatever the fuck they want. And they'll eat it all the fucking time. And they never fucking stop. They just become really fucking obese and shit like that. So, being a human being, you know, personally, that you know that you're going to eat in a few hours. So, you can choose to eat a portioned meal 
and then you know you're going to eat again and again and again. And then when you wake up tomorrow, guess what you're going to do? Eat. Dogs, cats don't know. So when you feed them, they're just eating everything because they don't know when the next meal is coming, right? They're not smart like you in the same way that you have the ability to see things in the future. So you have to be the one ultimately to be the responsible person because your dog and cat are not going to do that shit. You know, they're not going to be sitting there making financial decisions about where the rent money is going and shit like that. So you have to be the one that sits there and portions out their food because otherwise they're just going to eat everything. Oh, okay. All right. Same thing with babies, by the way. You know, you have to like worry about that shit. I don't know. Like, what are you even talking about anti-diet? Anyway, I free feed my animals. No restriction in my household. And I've seen so many people say that free feeding is bad, but I don't understand why. The animal diet culture is just as bad. First of all, dude, what is the animal diet culture? You sound like, you, these people sound like the people that wanted to make like lions vegan because they thought it was bad that they were eating like so many antelopes or some shit like that. What are you talking about, man? Why are you even talking about animal diet culture? What is that? I've never even heard of animal. What? Why is this even a statement? Like you guys became so bored that you had to come up with a, you had to come up with animal diet culture. Get a fucking life. Do anything else. I don't know. Play like fucking Pal World or I don't, whatever, do play Minecraft. There's like tons of other things you could do instead of going on the internet and talking about the animal diet culture. What the fuck is that? Animals don't even have a particular diet, they just eat whatever they can. What are you saying, man? Jeez. My dogs would eat until they vomit. Yeah, I used to have this problem too. I had a cat for a really long time and he would eat and he would eat. I didn't, I didn't understand this at first, right? Because I was an irresponsible person. I was also like, I think I was like 10 when I got my cat. So I didn't understand it. But eventually, I did portion control. I did split up the food. And I did feed him multiple times a day and make sure that he didn't puke. Because he used to puke a lot. And, uh, but, so I didn't, you know, feed him that often. And you have to do that, too. Because otherwise, your cat, your cat, your dog, whatever the fuck will eat until they can't anymore. Or, I guess, throw up. Um... And then eat some more, and I think it depends on the dogs. That's a fact. Probably because you're restricting them. How are you going to tell me? How are you going to say that when this person said, my dog would eat until they vomit? There is no indication that they're restricting food. First of all, how are they going <laughs> to... All right, whatever. I think the person's replying here, so... Nope, it's because they were Labradors. Assuming dogs react to food restrictions in the same way humans do, anthropomorphic... You can reference this any research that pr proves the effects of limiting food intake on Labradors. I've seen so many overweight dogs. It's terrible joint pains. Yep, this is a fact, dude. When you're making your dog and it's not gonna, the dog can't live life like a, no, a normal dog. They can't run around or they can't act like dogs anymore. Like I see those Indonesian monkeys a lot. There's that like that really fat Chinese monkey that the CCP likes to uh, show out every once in a while. It's like a cool monkey or whatever. And he's super obese and they just kind of feed him like Cheetos every single day. And that dude is just sitting there depressed perpetually and he just eats food. He actually becomes, he's so fat that when you give him particular types of food, he'll just look at you and judge you like, I'm not fucking eating that shit. What the fuck is that? Give me the real deal. Give me that Oscar Mayer. Throw me, throw me that Oscar Mayer. I'm not eating this. What the fuck is this? A cucumber? Get that shit out. Get that gay shit out of my face. Give me the fucking Oscar Mayer. I need that good shit. Look at me. I'm 80 pounds. That's right. I'm big as hell. I need some Oscar Mayer. You already know. Like, damn, I'm thinking about it, right? You're so fat as a monkey that you don't even accept every food. You, you have to actually, you, you choose your food. That's crazy, bro. Damn. But that dude can't, he can't operate anymore. He just lives like a human being. He just sits down all day and people give him food. He can't even climb trees anymore. All the other monkeys are making fun of him. They're just talking about, look at that fucking fat ass monkey. I would love to be in his situation, but I can't. You know, I'm, I'm getting chased by jaguars and antelopes and shit every single fucking day. And that dude's in the house eating Oscar Myers. That's crazy. But that's what happens. You know, you're, you're, you're literally taking the animal and you're making them not an animal. That dude is literally suck booty ass life, you know? And uh, that sucks. That's not good. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. I have memberships now, so if you want to be a member of my channel, you can totally do that. Um, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in cat and tell me what your favorite cat is. We celebrate International Cat Day every single day. We celebrate cats every single day, and uh, they're just beautiful creatures. They are. They're beautiful creatures, and even though I think that they could suck dick sometimes, like they're just terrible and bad people, but most of the time... I think they're beautiful. I think they're amazing. And you know what, dude? I cherish them. I think that cats are some of the most glorious, amazing animals on the on the planet. 
and I treasure them above most other animals. Like, there are a few other animals that are above them. Obviously, humans are above them, obviously. But cats are, like, third, like second or third or something like that. I don't know. I have to put more thought into it. But I think cats are pretty cool. And it sucks that they die real early because I would love to have one for my entire lifespan. You know? Just having that cat live with me for all my time, that would be great. But it doesn't happen. And it's sad. But anyway, type in cat down below or your favorite type of cat. And uh, I'll celebrate it with you. I really will. I will celebrate your beautiful decision of deciding what cats are great. I know some people might be allergic to cats. But I feel like even if you're allergic to cats, you can still acknowledge them from a distance. And maybe pray to them and tell them how beautiful they are because they deserve it sometimes. But anyway, um, speaking of somebody that's beautiful, speaking of somebody that's special, speaking of somebody that's amazing. I was looking at you yesterday. I saw you. I saw you yesterday when you was at the mall, when you was at the grocery store, wherever you were going, I saw you because I gaze upon you on a daily basis to ensure that you're still beautiful. I don't know why I do that. To be honest, I know that you're beautiful, but I like to make sure just to, I'm only, I'm really only doing it because I like looking at you. I'm going to be honest. It's not, it's not for any particular type of reason. I just really think that you look beautiful and I want to have my naked eyes gaze upon the beauty that is you to ensure that I can also have something to strive for to ensure that I can also be more beautiful every single day by looking upon your beauty. You understand? And I think it's appropriate. I think it's completely fine. I don't have to tell you, dude. Like, what, what are you going to do about it? Huh? You can't do nothing. I'm looking at you. What you want to do? Nothing. Nothing. Beautiful. Smell good person. That's right. I appreciate you. Anyway, we're getting to the video here. Uh, if you want to check my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram and my Twitter. If you want to follow me on any of those platforms, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 